across the twinkling stars and the Milky Way through an astro world where comets play came a gypsy man named Marvel McVeigh. This was only the beginning. The beginning of a new experience that could be gained only at Astro World. Marvel McFay. Astro World's whimsical gypsy man and his band of enchanted animals have delighted audiences of all ages and nationalities. Marvel and his friends have become famous through their live performances at Astro World, media exposure, tours to other states, and Mexico. This year, there's even a Marvel McFay Marvelous Kids Club with a first year enrollment projected at 20,000 members. Marvel McFay's popularity is instantaneous, and he's soon to be one of America's best loved personalities. In keeping, Astro World proposes another chapter in its continuing development and expansion Marvelville, new for the 1974 season. What you say, come and play with Marvel. Marvelville will be located in the area now known as Children's World. Designed with the same genius that inspired Disneyland, Disney World, and the newly announced Circus World, Marvelville will be the most unique attraction to be found at any theme park, bar none. Design 27's Disney practiced concepts offer via Marvelville the ultimate in fairy tales come true. Crossing over the entry plaza, you find the streets paved in lollipop colors winding through a magical land filled with adventure, fantasy, and fun. Over there is the seal pond and new petting zoo, always a favorite with Astroworld guests. The existing pond boasts a new look tailored for the area. This inviting structure is an exciting merchandise facility that will showcase Marvel-inspired novelties and products. Sponsorship tie-ins will offer further revenue capabilities for this idea. The existing Maypole ride will be kept intact, but with novel graphic modification, it will become Frida's Pond and Spinning Lily Pad Ride, a completely new effect for Marvelville. For the small fry, Marvelville boasts a one-of-a-kind activity house. The children's merry maze will provide entertainment and fascination for the little guys that are too often forgotten in theme park design. Something that's never forgotten, however, a full-service concession stand full of marvelous goodies. One of the most unique facilities planned for Marvelville is the theater area, complete with animated facades, puppet shows, magical walls, and surprise illusions. Its design alone is a show in itself. The fully equipped stage provides the setting for Marvel's vaudevillian routines and flexibility to accommodate guest entertainers. In the center of these fun-filled concepts is Marvel's Mansion, a fitting place for Marvel to call home. It's also the queue line building for one of the most spectacular dark light rides ever conceived with a Disney flair. As you glide into the darkness aboard one of Marvel's enchanted vessels, you leave your day-to-day -day life behind. In exchange, you'll travel through the whimsical wonderlands from which Marvel originated. Round the first curve, out of the dark void, appears Marvel's magic hat, hovering above, beckoning to a land where mountains have strawberry snow and sherbet colors abound in the countryside. Through a curtain of dancing flowers, you find yourself in Whimsy Country. In Whimsy Country, you'll see a Wonderland dairy that produces only marshmallow, strawberry, and chocolate milk, all without a tad of stainless steel machinery. In this enchanted valley, little pigs indulge themselves in their own bathtubs, complete with shower heads, sprinkling mud, of course. Past dancing crops and a lively barn dance, you'll meet a real live butter pillar and a flock of flying fish casting flowers to catch bees. A quartet of fanciful frog vocalists bids you adieu from Whimsy Country, but warns of less contented experiences ahead. A 
again in the darkness. Foreboding strains of music set the mood for a terrifying navigation through sinister castle. As the walls and windows shriek with terror, you notice that windows are actually eyes and doors are gnashing fangs and jaws. Ahead of you, two giant claws reach out to snatch you into the gloom. After a near miss, you breathe a sigh of relief, but only for a second, because all too soon you find yourself caught between the jaws of a ferocious dragon and the talons of a giant winged menace battling each other for dominance of Sinister Castle. Hastening your getaway, you take a curve into a black-lighted swamp filled with hundreds of goony folks, all cackling with delightful nonsense and urging you along to a brighter horizon. High above, you notice a fancy canary learning to fly. Just ahead, you enter the largest wonderland of your journey, Marvel's hometown, with fanciful carousels, Ferris wheels, Easter egg dirigibles, and even an overhead roller coaster enjoyed by all the marvelous people. With this panorama of carefree existence implanted firmly in your mind, you pass a jolly creature astride a hobby horse. Perched high above is Frida Frog, urging you to hurry back now, you hear? Marvelville at Astroworld USA. An experience to be enjoyed, shared, and never forgotten. Proposed to open April 1974. Marvel McFay.